Okay, class. Looking at uh, different measuring cups, can you guys tell me what this kind of measuring cup is? Liquid. Good. And what would these measuring cups be? Dry? Yes, <gasps> these ones are for dry. So these are going to be our smaller measurements, looking at our teaspoons and our tablespoons. And these are going to be our measuring cups in a variety. So we have half a cup, fourth a cup, third a cup, and then all the way up to a cup. Class. Okay, class, so now we're going to do a demonstration on how to measure all of our ingredients that we covered in lecture. So we're going to start off with flour. Does anyone know how we measure flour? You scoop it. You do not Good. pack it. Good, and why don't we pack it? Because we want to keep the air in there so it's light. Good, perfect. And if we don't, if we do pack it, we'll have too much flour. So what you're going to do is I have our pile of sifted flour right here. And I'm going to take our spoon and I'm just going to lightly put it in our dry measuring cup. You're going to want to heap the top. And once it is heaping, you're going to take a leveling flat edge and level it. And there's your flour. No. Caitlin, can you please make sure your phone is put away? Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, so next we are going to measure solid fat. So I have some margarine here that is at room temperature. So what you're going to do is you're going to scoop your fat into your measuring cup. And you're going to want to make sure you get all the air out, so you're going to want to try and level it as much as you can. So we see that it's nice and level. And then to get it out, you just use your spatula and plop it into your mixing bowl. Does anyone have any questions on measuring any of the ingredients that we looked at? Perfect. So we're going to look at granulated sugar. Does anyone know the difference between granulated and brown sugar when we're measuring? Um, with brown sugar, you have to pack it. Okay. And why don't we, or why do we have to pack brown sugar? Does anyone remember? No? Okay, because you to want to... get it all in there. <laughs> to get it all in there? Yes, that's part of it. Because you want it nice and uh, tightly packed, because if it's not, you're going to get too little. And the brown sugar is, uh, needs to be more dense in your product. So, when we're measuring um, granulated sugar, you simply scoop your measuring cup in there. And level your sugar. That would be how you accurately measure your granulated or white sugar. When you're measuring your brown sugar, so we have to pack it. So I'm going to scoop it. And I'm going to pack this down. And get it as nicely packed as you can. And then when you are putting it into your actual mixing bowl, when it comes out, it should come out in the shape of your brown sugar measuring cup. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so now we're going to move on to measuring water. Do we use dry or uh, liquid measuring cups for water? Liquid. Amanda? Liquid. <laughs> okay, and does anyone remember why we do that? <laughs> because it'll be more accurate for the liquid measuring cup. Correct, so with our ingredients, typically when you're baking, ingredients are um, looked at by volume, so you're going to want to get the most accurate volume. So when you're measuring water, you're going to pour in, and I'm going to measure out a cup of water. So you're going to pour in, you're going to get as close to the leveling mark as you want, or as you can get. Then you're going to want to get at eye level and make sure that the meniscus, which is the highest part of the crowning of the water, lines up to your cup marker. So this matches up, so I have a cup. Okay, class, so now that we have discussed and looked at all the different ways to measure dry and liquid ingredients with our different types of measuring utensils, you guys are going to work on a worksheet. We have weights and measures and measurement and conversion. So you are, you're, as a class, you're going to break up into your kitchen groups. You're going to go to them and complete your worksheet. So each worksheet is a different task. One of them is you're going to be measuring the ingredients like I demonstrated in class. You're also going to be measuring volume on your digital scales to identify the differences of when you're measuring ingredients in their correct measuring utensil and the incorrect measuring utensil. Does anyone have any questions on the activity? Caitlin? Twenty choose our own groups. Um, no, they're, they are your pre-assigned groups that we uh, placed the first day of class. So Caitlin and Amanda, you guys are going to be working together in kitchen number one. Okay. Can we oh. go to kitchen two? <laughs>
You guys are kitchen number one. <laughs> all right, go ahead, guys. All your materials are there for you. <laughs> <laughs>